Well, Disney is getting ever more desperate to make a quick buck and try to get some increase of money and viewership on their ever-failing woke SJW propaganda that they pass off as entertainment. This is uh, the, the most recent attempt, I'll put it that way. In this case, they're having to add one of their uh, Marvel shows, one of their failing Marvel shows, to their other streaming platform to try to, as a desperate attempt, to boost up viewership. <laughs> yeah. Says so here on Inside the Magic, Disney adds new Marvel show to Hulu in desperate attempt or to a desperate move to gain viewership. Yeah, the uh, they, they became they became too big to fail, and yeah, this is the result. Ho hopefully, it should be a, it should act as a humbling experience. Hopefully, it says in the article, it's no secret that not every Marvel show has been a smash hit for Disney Plus, but the House of Mouse has recently made a shocking last ditch effort to get more eyes on the doomed on a doomed MCU series that has one of the worst streaming debuts in franchise history, adding it to Hulu. You know, like that's going to make it any better. Let's just we have two wallets. Let's take this cash out of the first wallet and put it in the other wallet. You know, like that's pretty much what they're trying to do. You know, it's like I have two YouTube channels. Let me just put this video on my other channel and hope it gets more views that way. <sighs> anyway, continuing on the article. The, from the poorly received She-Hulk attorney at law. Oh, yeah, don't get me started on that. To the staggering underperformance at Miss Marvel, there's been a lot of misses when it comes to Marvel Studios' presence on Disney+. Plus. The MCU went all in on the streaming model when Disney's streamer released in late 2019, rolling out a series such as WandaVision, Loki, and the Falcon... Sorry, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Hawkeye, all to a varied degrees of successes, Marvel underwent somewhat of an experimental transition phase following the conclusion of their widely praised Infinity Saga with Phase 4 of the MCU, perhaps being the studio's most inconsistent era to date. This is especially evident with the quality of projects like the Emmy-winning WandaVision and the box office phenomenon of Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, which was a stark contrast to, say, Thor Love and Thunder and the Rocky Marvel's What If. Oh, yeah, no, don't no kidding. Don't get me started on Thor Love and Thunder. That was a, uh, that got destroyed at the box office. Uh, it says, continuing on the article, um, despite being one of the franchise's top-rated shows, Miss Marvel still holds an unfortunate record for having the least watched debut episode of any MCU series on Disney+, Plus, with 775,000 views thanks to a general lack of interest and a virtually non-existent marketing. With the studio's latest Disney+, Plus release, the Samuel L. Jackson-led Secret Invasion uh, barely avoided taking Miss Marvel's place. Uh, Se uh, Secret Invasion aired its premiere episode on Disney+, Plus early, sorry, in early June, or to earn the second lowest premiere viewership of any MCU title on Disney Plus with seven sort of with nine hundred and ninety four thousand viewers. Uh, since then it hasn't picked up much stream uh, with the pre uh, premium premium pre ultimate sorry not good at uh, reading stuff on a computer episode having just aired on Wednesday, July nineteenth. Not looking good whatsoever. Continuing on, although the show is currently airing on Disney Plus with its six episode run to conclude next week sorry six episode run set to conclude next week disney has made an unusual move and a frankly desperate move to gain viewership putting it on a different streaming service marvel studios announced via twitter tuesday that uh tuesday morning that hulu subscribers will be able to watch the first three episodes of the secret invasion starting tomorrow july 21st until thursday august 17th getting ever more ever more desperate woke sjw disney is getting ever more desperate i'll put it that way says in the article, if that sounds unusual to you, uh, it's because it is. This is a historic, historic move for the superhero studio. It's one of its first times that the Marvel produced Disney Plus show will be available to stream on the Hulu platform. Of course, it isn't the first time that a lesser viewed Disney Plus series has been aired outside of the Disney streaming. However, some might recall that the acclaimed Star Wars spinoff Andor has made has been made available on cable TV and the streaming and streaming on Hulu last November. So it's not surprising that the MCU is following suit. In other words, we're losing so much viewership and not making the kind of money we need to, so let's just err on everything we possibly can in a desperate attempt. That's the kind of state that woke SJW Disney has, has got themselves into. Yeah, I say got themselves into because if they had just stayed, if they don't insert all this ideology into their films and their stuff, they'll actually get some viewership. See, entertainment and politics ought to be separate because they'll blame this or that, but the real situation, the real cause of the situation, I'll put it that way, is inserting uh, agendas into your, into your uh, entertainment. In that, in that point, no longer becomes entertainment. Woke SJW Disney has been failing on all fronts, and they have no one to blame but themselves uh, for having to resort to these desperate means to make some extra money and make, get some extra viewership. It's uh, it's sad but laughable at the same time. Anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.